this. Okay, so we're going to start again. Good morning. Happy March 11. <laughs> um, today is my dad's birthday, and um, you can wish him a happy birthday. I don't know if he'll see my live, but um, his wife, Millie, might. And if she does, she can uh, show it to my dad. So that would be really fun if y'all want to say hey to my dad. He's in Charleston, South Carolina, one of my favorite places to go. And because um, I get to see him and Millie and I get to see the most fabulous town in uh, the East Coast as far as I'm concerned. I absolutely love Charleston. Um, if you are on this morning, please be sure to say hello um in the comments so i can say hey back and thank you for joining this morning i do see two people are on um and um, i hope that you're having a really fabulous day so um i've got a lot of interesting things going on today um and in this particular season of my life um i wasn't really sure how this month was going to play out but um, hi, Pebbles. Good morning. Nice to see you today. I'm so glad you could join this morning. <laughs> um, I um, was not sure um, if this was going to happen today or not. But um, my roomie upstairs, who has been with me since September, is um, moving out today. She found an apartment and is just dying to have a place of her own and i do not blame her one bit this has been a great uh stopover point for her um but she will get to take all her things out of storage and set up her own place again and um, have a kitchen and nobody making noise downstairs when she'd like to sleep on a saturday morning <laughs> so i am super super happy for her um and I'm going to tell you in just a few minutes how all of that's playing out in my life right now. Um, it's been pretty interesting. But I wanted to show you something first because this is pretty cool. Um, I've had a lot of people comment on my new headbands. If you can see my headband here, let me see if I can show. Oh, I just get confused about this backwards vision thing on the camera. But anyway, this is a really cute headband and I bought a whole bag of these on Amazon. Look at all these. <laughs> That's a bunch of them. Um, my my aunt and I found them online, and um, I wanted to show you how cool they are and how they work. I didn't know they were like this when I bought them. I thought they came already in a bow like this but they don't. <laughs> and then I said, oh no, I'm not going to be able to tie a bow in those. But let me show you how cool they are. Uh, first of all, they come in amazing prints. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Tropical print. This is because you know me, I love color, right? I love color. And, um, and so I bought some of the brightest, most colorful ones uh, to brighten up shirts like this gray one that I'm wearing. But these actually have a wire in them. I mean, look how cool this is. You can bend them and they stay. <laughs> so what I do is I, I bend over. Um, I tie this on uh, from the back of my neck up. I tie it, right? I put it in a one tie, right? And then I pull my hair all back again so it doesn't get caught in the in the neck. I mean, in the bow. And then I tie it again. And the wire goes almost to the ends. So you can make it stick up. You can make it come down. You can lay it flat. You can lay one end up. You can lay it however you would like. And you know what? Now I'm going to be stuck with this on me unless I can untie it. So um, that is how they work. And they are so pretty. And they really hold your hair back. So with my glasses, a lot of times I have a hard time keeping them on my head they like to slip off the back and so what i do is i put a eh, see if i can show you <laughs> i put a clip on the side here let me take my glasses off so you can see that so i put a clip back here so that it stays forward on my head <laughs> and it has been a great way to keep the hair off my face without it sliding off, which my glasses often push. 
headbands off my head. So these have been perfect. And I wanted to just show you the pretty colors. There's yellow, this yellow. Now these come, if you go on Amazon, they come in such a variety of prints and patterns and colors. Um, this one is a nice melon color. The ones that I recently picked out are pretty tropical looking, although not all of them are. Um, this one is just a striped one here, but they all have this wire inside, which make them really, really easy. And here's one that's a little, well, I guess they are. These are all pretty tropical, um, but the colors are magnificent. Look at this beautiful blue with these bright uh, melon colors and greens and lime greens and olive greens and beautiful blues. Even this one here is black and has a floral design of pretty browns and yellows. Really, really pretty. But on Amazon, they have a bunch of different kinds of prints. So um, after the uh, live today, I will post a, um, a, um, a link in the comments so that you can see them and um you'll be able to also see all the different prints they have so if you're a headband wearer or want to be but they're they frustrate you um these might be a great option for you and of course you know it's amazon so they could be returned if you don't like them um but i wanted to just show you those and see if those were something that some of you might like to have um this morning I also had a cup of coffee. I laid it down somewhere and I don't know where it is. <laughs> so this morning I'm drinking iced water. Um, I have gone back on the uh, program that I was on four years ago when I lost 108 pounds. After Mike died, I, um, I'll be honest, I gained a lot of weight back. I am not really proud of that, but I didn't really care. <laughs> um, I've had so much chaos going on in my life and I missed Mike and by habit uh, from being as tall as a grasshopper, my go-to habit when my life is overwhelming is to eat. I overeat, I stress eat, I'm an emotional eater. Um, not proud of that, but I fell back into old habits and I didn't care. Um, but I don't like how I feel or look at this point. And I worked way too hard to accomplish what I accomplished before. And so um, I tried different things this year. Um, and uh, instead of losing weight on some of those programs, I actually gained more. And I said, what am I doing? I'm going back on what I know works, is easy, it's fast, it's healthy, and there's no guesswork involved. So um, already lost 10 pounds this week. I'm so excited. <laughs> of course, first week you always lose a lot, but I'm really excited about the 10 pounds. And, um, and so this morning, I'm back to drinking gobs and gobs of water. And uh, so that's my go-to today just skipping the coffee because I can't find my cup of coffee that I had for this. Mm. My earring just fell off. So um, ignore that. I'll just cover my ear so you can't really see that I'm missing an earring over there. <laughs> if you get it on in the middle of my live, um, maybe you won't notice there's an earring missing. <laughs> um, so I mentioned earlier that my roommate is moving out. I will miss her. We've had some really great conversations and we've been a great encouragement to one another. But um, but I'm also really super happy for her that she is able to have her own space again um, and that she'll have a quiet place to herself. She doesn't have to put up with our noise. My mom actually has, um, it seems like her hearing aids haven't been working um the last few weeks and it's been really hard to talk to my mom i've had to like really get right up in her face for her to hear me 
And um, we've been talking about how could she afford new hearing aids, thinking that it was a hearing aid problem. So she went yesterday to have her hearing aids tested and her hearing tested again and come to find out she's had impacted wax in her ear. And so that is what's caused the inability to hear. So my poor roommate has had to hear me yelling for my mom to hear me. And it's really not that I'm yelling at my mom. I'm just talking as loud as I can without screaming so that she can hear me. <laughs> so um, she won't have to put up with any of that baloney anymore, which is great. Or my dog barking when he sees the neighbors walking by with their dogs, which he always does. Some of them he doesn't like and some of them he's saying hello to. <laughs> so I, I'm happy for her. Um, that she gets her own space and doesn't have to put up with our, our baloney anymore, which is great for her. Um, and uh, I I don't blame her for wanting that. Jeez, it's great. I'm really, really excited for her. <laughs> On the flip side, <coughs> it's great. I'm going to have my bedroom space again upstairs. Um, I thought about renting the upstairs again. Um, I even heard about... A slight possibility of someone who might be looking for a place and this would have been a great place for them but after talking with a number of people and really praying through this I just really feel like the Lord is just asking me to trust him um and so I am but as I've been thinking about this and um thinking about how scary it is to be losing um the income from the rent and losing it so boom so suddenly <laughs> um i'm not gonna lie it's scary um but i also i have been praying for um i forgot to show me how i could find better space for all of the things that all the projects that i feel like he's laid on my heart to do um having the upstairs space answers that prayer without me having to spend money renting someplace else um i even have recently put things in storage because there's just no room here the way things have been i will be able to take those things out of storage which is really going to be great um and i have lots of plans for um just organizing this space upstairs to make it really workable for a workspace my downstairs room which has been my art slash bedroom uh, and guest room so <laughs> art slash bedroom slash guest room will now be a guest room slash art room because this is the best room to do art in it is sunny it's really beautiful and bright and um, it's the room that I'm in right now so you can see it's a pretty sunny room um, and it, it's just wonderful for actually seeing the true colors of paints and colored pencils that I use. So I'm excited about that. Um, but as I've been thinking about it and really praying through my fears <laughs> and asking the Lord to really strengthen and build my faith through this, um, it's just dawned on me. I don't really have prayer buddies anymore. <laughs> um, you know, since Mike died, um, I'm, I'm, I guess there have been people who have prayed for me. There have been people who have said they've been praying for me or they, they have prayed for something specific. Um, but I don't really have anyone that I pray with specifically. And, you know, when I really, when it hit me last night, it just really broke my heart. Um, I've had seasons of my life where I've had really wonderful friends that I've prayed with on a regular basis. And um, I guess that just as time has passed and events have changed and relationships have changed and situations have um, been transforming um, and transitioning, I don't really have a prayer partner. And uh, so this morning i wanted to just emphasize the importance of that and um and also just to ask you guys to pray for me um being widowed you're really kind of in a lot of ways that a lot of times you're just kind of out there on your own and um 
you don't really have anybody covering you <laughs> in prayer. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm really just truly relying solely on God for all of this and for my needs and um, to open doors for opportunities of things that I have going on. Um, and so I just wanted to ask you guys to pray um, for me. And if there's anybody else who feels like, um, gosh, I would really love to have a, a time where I really devote an hour of my week to praying with and for others. If there's anybody else out there who watches the video today um, and you're in that boat and would really like to um, just to have someone who's praying for you during the week, but also um, would like to be part of an hour of prayer or even 30 minutes. I mean, it can be done on Zoom. Um, it is, there's no reason why you can't do that. It's time efficient. It's, um, it connects the miles. It's fine. <laughs> so, um, if that's something that you would be interested in doing, I, I'd really, I'd really love to have a, a prayer circle, a really close circle of friends that, uh, that know what I'm up to, what I'm doing and is praying for me and vice versa that I know some of your inner thoughts, inner dreams and um, inner pursuits and would just love to have someone who would hold those safe and lift them up in prayer. So um, that was um, really the majority of what I wanted to share with you today. Um, just the fact that, uh, you know, you can have faith and, and you can also have fear. <laughs> um, fear does not have to be, we don't have to be scared of fear. We don't have to allow fear to immobilize us. We don't have to have fear um, that paralyzes us and also makes us suddenly panic and we have to come up with an answer to whatever it is that we're afraid of. Um, fear actually can drive us to, like fear can be a really good thing. Um, fear can help us discern more what the Lord wants. Like it kind of intensifies our desire to seek God and what he has for us and what he will do for us. Um, and that's a really good thing. I, I think that God gave us this emotional realm to kind of be a, well, I've always thought of it as a, a radar gun, you know, things fly by us and it's the emotional realm. That's like the, it's like the, um, the radar gun, something goes by and it's like beep beep <laughs> and you evaluate. Oh, okay. That's this. Mm -hmm. Okay. No problem. Something else. Okay. Yep. Everything's cool. Yep. Okay. So my, my radar gun during the day, which is my emotional realm is sensing things happening around me. Beep, 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 beep. beep. <laughs> and sometimes it's like the speeding car goes by beep, 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 beep. And it's um, extra intense, right? And those are the things when you say, um, you know, okay, thank you, Lord, for intensifying my emotion over this because it's helping me realize I really need prayer for this. Um, I'm really scared right now, um, but I'm giving it to you. And um, what a great way. I For me, this is a great way for me to ev evaluate my emotions and to see my emotional realm and what it is done and what what it does and how it helps me in my walk with the Lord to build my faith. So I don't know, maybe that's something that will help you. I it has been a great picture in my mind when I have things that are uh intensified emotion like fear, like I have right now. <laughs> um hi Donna, thank you so much for watching you can tell I'm, I'm talking about you today <laughs> Donna has been my roomie since August and we have had um, some great conversations and some really sweet times 
we devoted uh, one evening a month to go out to eat. And I, I do I do trust that we are going to maintain that and remain friends, I'm sure, um, even as you step out into your next season of life. And um, oh, that's so sweet. Thank you so much. It's been such a, it's like been so cool to see how God brought Donna here in the first place. Long story. I don't think there's enough time for me to share all that, but um, really cool. And if you want to know the story, I'll write it out and I'll send it to y'all in a private message. It's pretty cool. Just comment and I'll tell you how this all happened. Um, but she has been here for a time that has helped me. It's been here. She's been here for a time that has helped her. And it is time for her to move on. This has been kind of a stepping stone place for her um, in her story and in mine. So it's been really cool how God has crossed our paths and used one another's circumstances to uh, bring together a really neat friendship and uh, a friendship that I hope will continue on in the days ahead. And I'm really, really super excited for Donna and her new adventures. And I'm excited about mine too, even though I'm a little scared. <laughs> um, but, uh, but the Lord is using my fear to build my faith because you know what, if I didn't have fear, if I didn't have fear about this, um, then it wouldn't be the stepping stone for my, my faith to be, be to build faith. Um, fear helps us build our faith. <laughs> That's going to be my new statement. I'm going to write it somewhere. Fear helps us build our faith <laughs> because without fear, we, it is pebbles. It is, it's a new chapter for both of us. And I'm excited for both of us as well. Um, so that's pretty neat. I love how the Lord, um, puts things together. He orchestrated the details in our being, having, you know, having Donna here for these several months. Um, he orchestrated that. There's no question. The way we found each other is just too crazy. Um, it was definitely God action there. And I have to trust that as God has opened the door for her to move and some other pretty exciting things that she's got on her radar for her future um, and the things that I feel like God has on the radar for mine. Um, it's so cool to see how God put all these things together. And it's a great reminder for me as I step forward into some pretty, um, I don't want to say it's a black hole because it's not dark, but it's a hole. I don't have all the details of how the future for me is going to play out. But I see some of the pieces that have been placed in that pot. <laughs> and um, I'm looking in it and I'm saying, it's all good. It's going somewhere. And I know that God has been directing my steps to this point. And I don't really need to be afraid as to how God will step me forward into the days ahead. So uh, my little dog who has been ignoring our neighbors has just gone back to the window to check things out and guard the house. So I'm sure that any moment he'll start barking. And I really don't want that on video besides the fact that I've been talking for 25 minutes. So it's time for me to go and to let you guys have your own fabulous Saturday. Don't forget to change your clocks back tonight. Um, I am looking forward to longer days starting tomorrow. How fun is that? I love being able to walk my dog while it's not pitch black out. And I have to use a flashlight. <laughs> so um, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Um, the weather is fantastic here. I hope it is for you as well. And that you get outside and you get some fresh air and some really sweet time with the Lord. I do want to just reiterate some of my first comments at the beginning of my live today. If anyone is interested in having a, an hour or even 30 minutes, I don't know if it can be fit into 30 minutes, but an hour a week to pray specifically for things going on in one another's lives. I really would love to have that kind of prayer partnership again in my life. I miss that. And um, um, I really had kind of not, I'd kind of forgotten that I had that at one point and how much I loved it and, and valued it. So 
anyone who might be interested in that, I really truly believe it can be just as powerful doing that in Zoom. So it doesn't have to be an hour of time, 30 minutes traveling, traveling back means the two hours. It doesn't have to be that. It can simply be a time designated each week that we meet with each other on Zoom. Um, and uh, I've got some ideas about how we can um, also, uh, in uh, what's the word? Not intensify, but um, I don't know, magnify the power of that. So um, just send me a private message or put something in the comments and say, I'm interested in hearing about uh, I, I'm looking for prayer for pe from people and with people. Um, and so count me in. Let me know what you got in mind. So I'll be happy to do that. Um, love you all. I hope you have a great weekend. And I will see you next Saturday with my other earring. My earring fell off during the chat today. <laughs> um, I'll try to have myself fully together next week. And I'll see you on Saturday on the next Fireside Chat. Bye, everyone.